Next. The bell boy. Bell boy. Bell boy. Oh, 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 who is it here? Well, that's some reindeer that you have there. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Claus. I'm oh. from the uh, medical uh, review board. Yes, yes. So we have an appointment today. Oh, I forgot all about it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, that's some reindeer. What's uh, that reindeer's name? Pluto. That's oh, yeah. Pluto. Well, that's, uh, that seems like some reindeer. I'm sure he does a good job. Oh, he's... Have a seat, young man. Have a seat. Tell me what you want for Christmas. Oh, I did a lot of things, but I think first we've got to talk about you, Mr. Claus. No, no, you know, no. You know, I'm here from the Medical Review Board. Yes? You know, and, um, you know, there's a few things we got to go over. I see you have a problem with your heart. And, you know, we're going to review and see you know, what should be done if we should approve the operation no. for you. No, no, okay. no. As part of uh, the law, you know, I'm required to record this, you know, so that this way there's no misunderstanding later on. Didn't I send you this for Christmas a couple of years ago? I don't know, that's, uh, oh. that's part of the GSA, you know, operational pack that we have. Oh, God. Uh, according to this, Mr. Claus, you know, uh, you didn't sign up on the Obamacare yet. No. Okay, and, you know, I see you live in the North Pole. Yes. But, uh, you know, the North Pole is under nobody's jurisdiction. But since you, uh, re uh, years ago, you requested a zip code. Yes, yes. Okay, you know, you are obligated under, you know, being a territory of the uh, United States that you and your L's you know, should be under Obamacare. Great. Now, it has this that, you know, you're coming up on your 212th birthday. Yes, I lived a long life. You know, I mean, you started off as St. Nick. You know, we have a few things that you changed your name along the Couple way. A couple aliases along the way there, yes. You know, but, um, you know, it says here that, you know, of, of the second valve, of the first artery of your heart, it uh, needs an operation and you know, uh, you know, the operation, you know, yes. is you know for somebody your age, you know, it's kind of hard to spend fifty nine thousand dollars, you know, on a heart operation, especially, you know, since it says here that you're a smoker. Yes, I am. Uh, just a pipe once in a while. You know, something to relax me. You know, a little uh, hashish, a little ganja. Yeah. You know, help me out. And what about uh, alcohol? Oh, just a little brandy to warm me up in the yeah. cold, frigid air of the North Pole here. <laughs> and what about uh, all those um, cookies and everything you get from the kids? Well, you know, do they leave you low-fat milk when you come down the chimney? No, eggnog and warm milk, uh, whole whole milk. Yes. Yeah. Uh, according to this, uh, we don't see any dependents either. No, I got rid of the wife a couple of years ago. The kids are all. Down in Bermuda, yep. Florida for the winter. Yo, so you run a non-union shop for the elves too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Keebler takes care of my elves too, so they work in both places. Mm -hmm. they, it's actually charity for me. Yeah. Well, could you give me any good reason why we should pay for this heart operation? Yes, uh, you got to keep me going. Uh, what about all the kids around the world every year? They want their presents to... There's no sin or who's going to give the presents to them every well, year. Well, you know, obviously the governments of this world, it doesn't seem like they believe in Christian Christianity anymore. So, uh, That's a tough word to say there. Yeah, it's really been on the decline. You know, I only got two hours of training, you know, as part of, you know, everybody was on the computers, you know, that's a little backed up. But oh, uh, I heard about you know, that. Your name pretty much got uh, bumped up to the top of the list with Christmas and everything. Yes, you know, thank you, I appreciate we'd it. We'd like to see you at least be around for this Christmas. I'll you try know. to make it. But, you know, here I'm looking at Article 16, Paragraph 4, you know, and, you know, you're not coming up with a good enough reason. You're old, you know, you drink, you smoke. You, you need a very expensive heart operation. You know, go to Hooters you know, once in a while, too. 
you know, well, it doesn't say anything about that, but, you know, there's, there's no really good indication, you know, why we should uh, pay $59,000, you know, uh, especially here the doctor says that you could make it for at least possibly 18 months with that bad valve. Ooh, 18 months, I get another Christmas and a half out of it, yes. Yeah, so... Uh, Remember the fire truck I got you 20 years ago? I, I still have the uh, yeah. the wagon, the uh, flyer wagon, but, uh, you know, that the little sled, that red sled that guy, yeah, yeah, the BB yeah. gun? I I remember all those great yeah. things you brought to me, Santa. You know, but uh, it, it's business these days. You got to understand, especially because all the chimneys you go up and down. There's 330 million people in this country. There's just the population. You know, I mean, I shouldn't be telling you this, but you know, I mean, I really think they're trying to cut the population. Because with one in ten people living to be over ninety, you know, still collecting social security. Unbelievable. You know, you know, they they rather these people die off early and you know, oh. when you look at fifty nine thousand compared to keeping you alive more than eighteen months, yeah. you know, it's strictly a business decision, Mr. Claus. You know. So I'm sorry though, looking at all this stuff over, you know, your age, the drinking, and you know, chasing women. Now you're telling me about that. You're chasing women. And Speaking who? of women, I got a nice little elf, Lolita. I could yep. fix you up with her, you know, if you just, you know, let me get through it. You know, I don't know, you know, you shouldn't be bribing a federal... She's like this, she's built good. She's small, but she's uh, built. You should, I don't think you should be uh, bribing me, you know. I'm too new on this job, and after being unemployed for so long, I need a job. How about a little baby reindeer? Yeah. No, that's... Rudolph is the father. You get a lot of money for him, look. Yeah. No, that's... Um, Wait, I, I'm really sorry, Mr. Claus. I'm going to have to rule. No operation for you. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Mr. Claus. But, you know, it's the wave of this country now. You've been you bad know. for Christmas. You're not getting anything this year. Well, <laughs> I, I have a, a job this year, you know. I mean, things were so bad in this country with so many people being employed that I'd rather be the bearer of bad news than not having a job, you know. You know, right before this, I had to go see some kid, Tiny Tim. Doesn't oh, look Tiny good. Tim, yeah, the poor kid on crutches. You know, you probably know him. I'm sure you've delivered to him over the years. You know, we're not allowed on the, you know, Law number 612, paragraph F, to wish you a Merry Christmas, you know, but we couldn't, can send you our warmest holiday greetings. Oh, thank you. I you appreciate know, it. To you and the Yells, and uh, sorry again, but, um, you know, business is business. I hope you to know. be around next year for these poor kids. Well, if not, oh, you know, Christian, Christianity is dead in this country, so, you know, it won't be too much of a problem. What have happened to Ronald Reagan? Thanks again for seeing me, Mr. Claus. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's a pretty weak handshake. I probably don't have enough oomph in your heart. Yeah, I'll try this all these years. Yep. I'll, I'll show myself you. out. Thank you for your yeah. time. I'll show you out, all right? Yep. Bye now. Thank you. I'll just get my jacket right here. Yeah.